Hello, this is VQ558, and this is my contest entry to uh, Vegeta 8259's contest. And as you can see, it's my Master Grade GNX. Uh, just for reference, I did start this project around January 7th to 8th, not long after the contest started, just to make sure that you guys knew. Um, it actually took me a month because I was busy with school. And this is the last day. I finally finished it. And here it is. Uh, I didn't fix his weak ankle, so I put him on action base. Because this was a paint job. And um, it seems that it was the polycap in his ankle, not his uh, actual ankles or his feet that was causing the fall over. So I'll, I'll fix that later. So here it is. I did give it a flat coat, so it's not nearly as glossy as... Uh, my other customs. It is shiny though for some reason. It looks a lot nicer on camera than it does in my real life. It's funny. The blues are much more brilliant. Anyways, uh, so let me show the whole thing in some better lighting. Like, so I'm just gonna lift it up a bit. There we go. So the colors I used were um, blue, obviously, uh, silver for some edgings here, as you can see, silver, here and here, and then I used white, uh, metallic charcoal, and gray on the stomach joints, the insides of the arms here, the uh, rear binders here. the sides of the uh, thighs right here and that's it for the gray actually and then you can see that uh, actually the silver is here on the binders here on the binders on each edge on the underside of this arm here both arms the spikes on all the arms and both shoulders uh, this part here is silver and these parts here are silver so it's basically a gonna, it's basically a uh, blue theme. Uh, it's a blue color scheme. The uh, GNX with silver accents, and the GNX I saw in other uh, color schemes that the white usually was still there. So I left the white as white, and it works really well. So here it is. Once again, just a little bit farther away than 360. So I'm really happy how it turned out. Um, turned out a lot better than I was expecting, so that's pretty nice. Um, the hands are the same color as the inner frame, and yeah, that's it. So oh, sure, oh the head's also silver on the inside, and the uh, clear parts are about the same. Yes, this is a 100% painted kit, just as the contest said. And, yeah, I'm actually really glad that this contest happened, regardless if I win or not. This is a perfect excuse to uh, paint up my GNX to tighten up those joints. And, yeah, I really like it. Um, that's actually it for this contest entry. Uh, I'm just going to ramble on this a little bit more to make this video seem a little bit better, I guess. Uh, I guess you'll off the how things are. Like, I did paint all of this gray part here, and you can see how the metallic charcoal makes like a line around the armor, and the blue and silver kind of goes on top of it. Same for the arms. Take a look at the details. Oh, I painted the uh, wrist guards blue. Um, I did paint the inside of the collar gray. Just going to pop the head off. Inside of the head, inside of the collar is gray, and then this collar area is blue. So they're actually separate colors. So we peg that neck back in. Uh, I did paint the GN drive gray. 
And you can see the drive here with the blue and the gray. You can just pop it out. It's a little bit stiff since it's been painted. There. Uh, of course, it only popped out that much, but you can see that it's a nice smoky gray. Let's pop it back in. Okay, uh, this isn't good. Like this. Okay. And plug you back in. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is tough. I'll do that later. Whatever. Anyways. Now, that's it for this contest entry. Uh, hope it wins. Of course, it's not going to change much if I just hope. It has, this has to be judged well, and people have to like it. So. I'll have more reviews set up later, just letting you know. So, uh, that's it, and see you guys next time.